Hi everyone, Medin has kindly sent me this easel to try and I'm gonna be using it to paint today's oil pastel painting. They've also shared a link with a discount in case you want to take a look. The link is in the description box. Just know that it's not an affiliate link and that I do not make any money if you purchase it. I know that they have an affiliate program but this is the first product of them that I ever had or tried and it wouldn't feel very honest of me to participate in it. I really don't have anything bad to say about the easel. I actually think it's very good. It has the perfect size for what I tend to paint. It's lightweight but sturdy and I appreciate the fact that once I'm done painting I can fold it back and store it anywhere because it takes very little space. So yeah, that's my short review. Many of you have asked how I sharpen my oil pastels and this is how I do it. Excuse the out of focus not doing a very good job, but despite the camera going crazy, I think that you can see what I'm doing. I only do this with Neopastel and Mungyo. I don't feel the need to do it with NLES because they are very soft and I can get a point on them just by rotating them on a scrap piece of paper or on a paper towel. I've been thinking about this for a while and I'm considering melting together a few of Sennelier oil sticks and then making my own shades. I especially want a very pale yellow like this neo pastel that I'm using in this painting for all the highlights and maybe some other colors but especially a very pale yellow. So I may try it and see how it goes. I don't know how I would do it yet but I will come up with something. Also a dark indigo would be nice, like the color of the background, where I had to mix indigo and black, and maybe some light purples, light, light everything, I think pastel shades the most. If I try, I think I will record it. To mix indigo and black to make this dark blue, I use the paper stamp a lot. I feel it helps creating a very uniform color, but it also makes more texture, so I had to smooth everything out with my fingers afterwards. I prefer to use my fingers overall, but my skin is a little bit patchy at the moment from so much scrubbing and blending. So yeah, for large areas like this, I think it's better to use it, but I didn't for the skin, just because I have to smooth it out anyway. Today's video is a bit shorter because I didn't do a really good job at lighting my space so there is this very annoying cast shadow in many of the frames and I have to remove the ones that look the worst. Um, yeah, they didn't look very pretty. So, But I still try to show most of the process. I'm sorry about that and it's quite a shame I think because I'm pretty pleased with how the painting turned out but yeah there's nothing I can do now so I will try to do better next time. I hope you still liked it though and thank you for all the lovely comments that you leave they are so nice to read I really appreciate them so thank you very much 
And that's it. I hope you have a nice day and see you soon. Bye bye.